Hey guys, we've made it to November, and you know what that means? It's squash season, one of my favorite vegetables. Whether you're at the grocery store or at the farmer's market, squash is in abundance at this time. We've got butternut, we've got acorn, we've got Hubbard squash, honey nut, and my favorite, kobacha squash. Kobacha squash is a cross between a squash and a sweet potato. So it has this beautiful sort of sweet velvety texture and it's also fluffy when it's roasted in the oven. So you may be asking yourself, why is squash healthy when it seems like a really decadent vegetable? Which it is, but it's also really low in calories and really low in carbohydrates. So it's sort of that bang for your buck vegetable. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a vegetarian quesadilla with it. And anyone that knows me knows I'm a sucker for anything with gooey cheese. Like any squash, kobacha squash can be used in soups, stews, roasted, it can even be steamed. It's so versatile. The only thing that kind of stinks about the kobacha squash is its hard exterior. So it takes a little bit of muscle to get behind that to take the skin off, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first step um, with butchering your squash is you're just gonna cut it in half. So I kind of take the tip of my knife and see it is a little bit hard, so bear with me, people. And then I kind of take my knife and work around. Ah, we got it. Look at that beautiful color. Oh my God, it almost matches my shirt. I did not plan this. Okay, take the seeds out. Now you can also roast these seeds in the oven later. You just kind of have to blanch it to get all of these little fibers out and they're delicious. I mean, definitely utilize them if you have the time. It's worth it. So we're gonna take the seeds out. And then I'm gonna lay half of it on my cutting board and I'm gonna show you how to take the skin off. Basically, you just wanna cut the skin off little bits at a time, working around the squash, making sure not to lose too much of that delicious flesh. It takes a little bit of practice sometimes to get through this, but it's not as hard as it looks. It's totally fine if it's not perfect. Depending on what you're doing with the squash, you can even leave the skin on. Even though it may seem super tough, when roasted, it gets really soft and is completely edible. That's actually what I'm gonna do with the other half. Okay. Now we're just gonna cut it into sort of half inch planks. Now that we've got everything all on our sheet tray, we're just gonna drizzle not generously, but enough with some olive oil, probably about a tablespoon worth of olive oil, and then a nice seasoning of salt. Give it a toss with your best utensil. And then we'll pop it in a, probably about a 400 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And you're just gonna flip it halfway through to get it nice and toasty brown. So we're gonna make our lime crema now, which sort of jazzes up our quesadilla, gives it a little bit of a sauce. So we've got some lower fat sour cream. You can also use Greek yogurt, your preference. I leave it up to you. We're gonna do a little lime zest. You know how I feel about zesting. Just take the zest right off of there. Catches it in my microplane. Not sponsored. <laughs> Pop that guy in there. We're gonna take the juice of this one lime. If I had a fork, I'd use it, but I don't. Luckily I have strong hands, so we're good with that. Now you can also add some fresh herbs to this if you like. This guy's like slippery. You can add a little cilantro. I may add some cilantro at the end, so I'm just gonna leave it out here. And I'm just gonna dry my hands off. Now I'm just adding like a little pinch of cayenne. This cayenne I have is really spicy and I've learned that the hard way. So I'm gonna err on the side of less is more. 
And you know I got you know I gotta season it guys. And then I'm just gonna give that a little stir. It'll stay nice and liquidy, and that's what we're looking for with the addition of the lime juice, because it's more of a sauce than sort of, like I said, like a cream. Okay, and that's it, guys. Couldn't be easier. So the beauty of this recipe is that it's easy. So while your squash is roasting in the oven, you can make the rest of your filling. And cause it's a vegetarian quesadilla, I just wanted to bulk it up a little. So we're just gonna saute some onions in some olive oil. Get your cast iron or your, you know, skillet nice and hot. Give it a toss. Season it with some salt as it goes. You wanna season from start to finish, guys. So we're gonna let that soften, give it, you know, anywhere from like three to four minutes. So our onions are like pretty nicely brown now and that literally only took a few minutes. So I'm gonna add a couple garlic cloves. Just get that through there, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. You don't wanna burn the garlic, so we're just gonna do it fast. And then we've got some spices. We've got some smoked paprika, and we're bringing in again that sort of element of smokiness to this without doing any smoking. So I got some smoked paprika, which I'm gonna add to the skillet, as well as some cumin. And you just wanna sort of, again, toast these spices in your skillet. And lastly, pickled jalapenos. You can add regular jalapenos as well, but I really like the vinegar bite of the pickled jalapeno and it's a little bit less spicy. So again, we just have a little bit of a mild sort of um, flavor, just in case you don't like spicy. I'm talking to you, mom. We're gonna build our quesadilla now. We've got our cooled squash and we've got all of our components, which includes our whole wheat tortillas, which are sort of like a larger size. If you get the smaller ones, you might just need two. But since I have the larger size, I'm going to fold it over and you'll see. So I'm gonna pop this guy in my cleaned out cast iron, dry skillet, get it nice and warm. We've got some Monterey Jack cheese that we're just gonna sort of sprinkle all over the bottom. And now we're just gonna sort of layer. Uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna start with my onions. Give it a nice little sprinkle. So we've got some roasted poblanos and then cut into strips. And then we're gonna add our squash. And the cheese is already melting. I mean, I feel like it's pretty much already done. And don't be afraid, guys. You can have this for breakfast, you can have this for lunch or dinner. And I think kids would really love this. So look at that, the cheese is pretty much already melted. We're gonna flip that side over, give it a press down, move it around a little. Just gonna take it out of the pan, pop it on our cutting board. Cut it into fours there. Put it on our plate. Got some gooey cheese left behind. You know I'm gonna eat that. Drizzle it with our lime crema. And I think I'm gonna eat a bite because it's nice and hot. I may burn my mouth, it's steaming, but. Woo! That's good. So now that I can feel the roof of my mouth again, I'm gonna finish this up, but I'm also gonna take you through a high intensity workout because we've had a really filling meal and we wanna burn some of those calories off. Let's get to it. We're gonna get our heart rates elevated with a 15 minute workout as many rounds as possible, a 15 step back lunges on each leg, 20 sit ups, and 10 chest to floor push-ups, regular or on your knees. 
If you want to see more content just like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel.